Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another video. Today's gonna be another grab and go tut, which means it's gonna be in three minutes or less. And right now we're gonna be going over uh, flow, if you wanna call it. This is really just to smooth out your edits and make it look like it's moving a little bit faster and it has a little bit more, well, flow to it. So right now I'm gonna show you, I did a uh, real simple edits just with like rotation and scale keyframes to show you the difference between uh, what some people like to do and then what I like to do to make it look better. Alright, so if you didn't see it right away, the one thing that happened there was the movement in the clips. One thing uh, I always like to preach is that there should never be a time where your clip isn't moving due to something you're doing if you're not moving, if you're not using like really high paced clips. So that means if you are doing keyframes and you have something transitioning where it goes from a, like a 200 down to 100, there should not be a gap in between where it's not constantly scaling or still rotating even if it's a very small amount. So uh, once again I have another example here of what you shouldn't be doing. And right now we're going to go ahead and change it. So right here we have two keyframes that are both scaled at 100% and in between them there's no movement. So all you got to do is we're just going to take one of them out and we're going to put the other one in the middle. And we're going to go over to the next clip, take one out. Put one in the middle go to the last clip take one out and put one in the middle and then we're just going to fix up the graph editor here a little bit so we're not going below 100 percent and then even though it's still moving slowly here in the middle you can still see it's moving constantly that way there's never a dull time All right, so now that we got those changed, let's go ahead and see the difference. Now you can see, even just now, there's no audio playing, there's no music, but you feel like it's moving faster and it's moving along and there's never a time where it's just sitting still. And this is something that if you apply it to your edits, it'll really make it look a lot better and a lot more pleasing to the eye. All right, so I know this was a short tutorial, but that's the whole point. I hope you guys got something good out of it. If you have any suggestions for these tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comments below and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a thumbs down if you didn't. And I've been Soren and I'm out. Thank you.